everybody, welcome to week one. So this week there's lots of things to introduce you to uh, and so we're going to split this uh, week into three distinct sections. So I'm hoping that this short video is just going to give you a really good sort of overview of what's going to be covered in week one and what's going to be contained in those three sections. So the first thing we're going to introduce you to this week is the paper itself. So I know many of you are learning online, perhaps for the first time, and so we're going to go through the sort of strategies in the paper for how we deliver the material, how we deliver the content, and then how you develop that content to be able to learn about ethics and learn about yourself as an ethical decision maker. So we're going to be looking at the content, how it's delivered, and then also we'll look at how you'll be assessed because I know everyone is keen to um, better understand the assessment process. Okay, so in the second part of week one, we're going to be introducing you to ethics as a concept. So many of you will have uh, already learned about ethics in other papers, but many uh, terms that we use every day have a whole sort of multitude of meanings and ways of interpreting. And so we're going to look at ethics as a concept, how we're going to define it and how we're going to use it in this paper. Now I've got some really great uh, case studies and little activities for us to do to help us to work out what is an ethical decision, what an ethical decision looks like. Uh, and some of those you already have experienced in that little what is ethics survey. So I know from that that already many of you um, have uh, skills in uh, ethical decision making. Our job in the semester is just to hone those skills and help you to think more critically and more soundly. So then in the third part of this week, I'm going to introduce you to some of the tools that we're going to be using and specifically to the AUT Values Exchange. So this is a special website that has been designed for students like you to learn about ethical issues. It was developed by Professor Seedhouse, so you may recognise that name. He also wrote the textbook for this paper. And that, uh, that website, there's going to be some uh, information for you to navigate the system, to try it out. And then through the semester, we'll use it regularly, every week, either with fun little polls from interesting things that I read through the week, but also for material that will be assessed. So I'm hoping that together, those sort of three components will really help you to sort of um, get to grips with with the paper and for the rest of the semester.